called out for apparently selling out to Cameo. And this is actually great. So I came across two comments on one of my Insta Live uh, posts saying that, you know, wasn't this the guy who said that he wasn't the dance monkey? Now, why is this great? Okay, first of all, it means that people are watching my Instagram live posts after the fact, which is brilliant. So the numbers then don't lie. You only get these thousands and thousands of views. Obviously, I know at any given point, no one is tuning in. Uh, not, not no one, but not as many people are tuning into the Insta Live. However, I get a ton of comments on each Insta Live post. It shows me 14,000 views, 40,000 views, etc., etc. So great comment. Let me quickly explain myself. Look, I'm not a dance monkey. Whether you believe me or not, I don't want to make videos in other people's phones for some nonsense or whatever this that. However, Cameo is a legitimate platform where a multitude of, let's call them Z-list celebrities, give their fans access to them. It's not, it's, I think it's just another great step in my legitimacy, okay? It's just another great step in my evolution that I've been invited to this platform to be able to express myself to my fans. I, I, I think that is brilliant. It adds legitimacy to me, just like going to the British consulate uh, for the coronation. Many people will say, who gives a fuck? I mean, I give a fuck, and it adds legitimacy to me. These are many, many small steps adding to my armor, adding to my portfolio. And why I succumbed to the cameo thing, is because I got a very sweet message. And basically what I do now realize is that I have so many fans everywhere. Now, let's just let's just say I have four, 546,000 fans, okay? And that's it. Those are the actual followers on TikTok, for example. Let's negate the 257,000 on Instagram, the thousands on LinkedIn and Facebook, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's negate the people who watch me without actually having clicked the follow button. Let's negate YouTube, let's negate everything. Let's say I have half a million fans. Not all of them have the means to come to Hong Kong. Not all of them have the means to buy a suit from me. Not all of them have the need to buy a suit from me, right? So I just thought that this was a, a great, easy, legitimate platform for me to make my fans happy. And I'm so happy that I've been called out. If you ever think that, you know, I've said something wrong or you disagree with me or whatever, listen, I'm there for you. If you're here to watch me, I'm here for you guys. Now let's get to the first call. Probably do only do one call today, very extensive call. I don't know why people are calling me. Why is this unmarked? Let's go to the United States and design something awesome. Everybody help me to like and share the live. Everybody help me to like and share the live. Help me to like and share the live. Hello, dear friend. How are you? You're looking even more handsome. You've got that Wolverine look. You know what I mean? Do not ever waste your youth. Youth is wasted on the young. Don't ever waste your youth. Where's your fiance? She's over. She's on the couch. She, can I meet her? Yeah, of course. Oh, she doesn't want to be on camera, but she'll say hi. Why doesn't she be want to be on camera? What's that? Why doesn't she want to be on camera? She's. Uh, she says she's not camera ready. You are camera ready. You're born camera ready. Come on the camera. <laughs> Come on the camera. I'm getting the. Don't be shy. Shy. No, no, nobody is shy. I'm I'm the unshyness doctor. <laughs> I did my best. I okay. did my she's in the room though. Okay, sit she down here. somewhere and place the phone down so I don't get dizzy. Okay. Right. So today is your lucky day, Jesus. I have some asshole who keeps calling me over and over. I have no idea who he is. I think you'd get the you think someone would get the message if I keep hitting no. Um Today's your lucky day because you are such a great, wholesome kid. I've said this all to you so many times, okay? And I'm going to upgrade you to the most incredible fabric and I'm gonna build you the most phenomenal tuxedo. You have Thank to you. vest yourself in me. You've got to trust me. Um, you have also, also have to say no to me if it's something that you really don't want, okay? But I've obviously thought about this, all right? Okay, so are you ready to rock and roll? Yes. Okay, you have sent me no brief, which is perfect. So we can design this completely on the fly. All right, and I've had yeah, a good thank you. But um, I, as always, I'm open. I'm open 
to uh, suggestion on the fly. First of all, I'm going to upgrade you to Vitali Barberis, the world's oldest fabric maker. And they've been around since 1663, since in, in over 350 years of business, they've never vertically or horizontally integrated into any other industry, okay? You're going to get this great fabric from me. And the fabric that I've chosen for you is, this, is their best black. It is spectacular. It's 95% wool, 5% cashmere, and you are going to absolutely love this, okay? Thank you so much. Can't you, can't you? All right, so don't worry. That is my wedding gift to you. Okay, and I mean that. Thank you. <laughs> my Thank you. Today we'll ask them for a new book. Okay, let's not forget. All right, this is my favorite book. This is from their parties and celebrations collection, and it is specifically for tuxedos. It's got the most amazing natural sheen to it. Okay. Perfect. All right. So here I have in front of me a tuxedo that I like somewhat. Here I have in front of me a black suit that I designed that I love. Here I have in front of me a tuxedo that I did on design that I do not like at all. Alright? Wear the tuxedo pants. Okay, leave them, leave them. So I know you are short and and stocky. Okay? But I think that's gonna be irrelevant because what we want is we want it to scream bespoke. Okay? We want it to scream James Bond. We want it to be a complete head turner. Alright, so we're gonna break a couple of rules. And I've had a long think about this since you uh, drop me the payment. We're going to do a two-button tuxedo, all right? You ready for that? That works. Okay. You're yeah. going to trust me, okay? Uh, we're, going to, go we're going to make it a fish mouth lapel. So a fish mouth lapel is in the notch family. This is semi-notch. And we're going to do it with a more acuter opening, all right? Um, and why... You, yeah, go on. How do you feel about... How do I feel about what? Peak, peak lapel. Every asshole and their fucking mother is wearing a shawl collar or a peak, all right? Okay. Let me build you something that Daniel Craig and Hugh Grant would wear, okay? Let me build you something for the red carpet, all right? Let me not build you something that you can buy in any store. Now, that doesn't mean that you will get them cheap, but let me build you something unique to you, all right? Let yeah. me, I know yeah. you well. I, I this is our third project together. I want you to trust me on this. I want this to be very special, extremely timeless. It's gonna be your go-to. It's gonna be a true head turner. I want you to completely best in me, all right? Yep, of course. So we will build you a fish mouth lapel that is covered in satin, all right? And then we will lace the lapel completely in, in, in satin. Oh, excuse me. We'll build you a fish mouth lapel, which is covered in satin, all right? And then we will do dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching for you, like it's done on a Tom Ford tuxedo jacket, like it's done on a Brioni tuxedo jacket, not like this one here, which you see there's no extra stitching. We want to doll it up completely, <laughs> okay? We're, yeah. also we're also gonna pierce a buttonhole for you, all right? All of this stuff is more difficult to do, but we are going to do it for you. And we're gonna give you a Barquetta breast pocket with a curve and kick that's completely Perfect. face in satin, but we will also do the hand needle and thread pick stitching on the breast pocket, all right? Perfect. We're gonna do my signature tuxedo pockets, which are slit pockets, okay? Slanted with a ticket pocket, which is also a slit, and fully faced in satin. So this one doesn't have satin facing. This one does have satin facing, can't really see it. It's gonna be beautiful satin facing. One, two, three pockets, all right? Very nice slant, it's gonna be just incredible. Then what we're gonna do, it's gonna be full lining. You live where, in Chicago? No, you live in Texas. Yes, sir. I'm in, uh, I'm in north of Dallas. I think for a tuxedo, you always wear it indoors in air conditioning. So we'll do full lining. All right? I'm also going to build yeah. you gauntlet cuffs. I'll only be inside for about 15 minutes that day. <laughs> you, yeah. I'll build you real gauntlet cuffs that are, that are faced in satin, and they will be pick-stitched as well. <clears throat> okay. The breast pocket will be... Can do those on the smaller side? We'll do them on the small side. Mini gauntlets, pick-stitching, bucket of breast pocket, pick-stitching. Excellent. How, how does that... How does that... <clears throat> How does that what? Say that again. How does that, how does that ring in your head? How does that sound? The mini, the mini gauntlets will be amazing. Okay. They'll be sensational. Okay. okay. We're going to give him a mini bucket because he's a small guy. And we're going to give him mini gauntlets. Okay. Keep him on the small side. <clears throat> we'll come back to the buttons in a second. Perfect. How do you like roping on the shoulder? You want an American shoulder that drops down? Or you want a European shoulder that perks up? No, I like, I like the medium uh, roping you did on my gray suit. Okay, so we'll stick to a medium rope. I think it also kind of ties into the Tom Ford look. 100%. You're talking my language. 
What lining do you, would you like? So, um, I saw on a, I've seen on plenty of lives actually, you have uh, kind of a black and white floral lining. I'm not sure if you still have it. I didn't see it on the links you sent me. Mm -hmm. um, but if you don't, um, I also liked the uh, black and white um, houndstooth. What about this guy here? I think that's a little too uh, flashy. Our, our wedding colors are emerald, um, gold, black, and white. What about this guy here? Is that, is that um, black and Color. white or like gray. A, gray, a dark gray? Dark it's gray. gray and white. Okay, yeah, um, I like it, um, but let's, let's see what Let's look at options. more. Will you go for this yellow? I love it. No, it's a little too much. <laughs> it is amazing. I, I love it to death. I love it so much, that yellow. A couple of others here that will be good or not. Mm -hmm. I don't think I like other ones in here for you, for your taste. He wants those small books. No, the we can use the Marzoni books as well. Do you like this Eiffel Tower? Um, probably not the Eiffel Tower, even though it is Paris. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need those small books from SV. That's the stuff that he likes. And then I like this as well. Yeah, that is nice. I think I like the gray paisley better, but that is very nice. Let's hang on to this for a second. It a color as well. Yeah. <clears throat> then I love this. I do like that as well, um, but blue's not our color. That's the only reason I would stay away from it. I'd like to stay in the black and white. I got um, you. Or, you know, uh, dark emerald vein. I got you. Let's just make sure we do our due diligence. No, 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 I appreciate it, as always. I like this. That's nice. Let's hang on to that. Oh, I like the other ones better. I don't like the skulls. Nice. You like the skulls? Yeah, is it, is it, um, is that all black and white as well? That's all black and white. You like it? Oh, oh, I just noticed that they're skulls. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, even I don't like the skulls. So let's hang on to these two and this okay. one here. All right? Now, I like this. Yes, I, I actually, that was that was under consideration when uh, you sent the links over. I like that as well. I like that. I know, I know uh, Houndstooth is in that book as well. Yeah, I have this in my tux. Yeah, I, I love the black and white polka dot. I even like the white on black polka dot. Yeah, I think the, I, I like both of these. I like the black and white more. Okay, yeah. That floral one that you're talking about is done. It was very, very popular but it's finished now. I have these polka dots also. I still love these. Yeah, like uh, if we're going that route, I like the, I like the more crazy. And then dots. here's the hound suit that you like. Mm -hmm. And this is some sort of animal print. And then this is another. Right. Okay, I like these as well. I still love those polka dots. Yep. And then in here you get the color. There's black and white stripes. There's this as well, which is very solid. Nice. This too. Yeah. I th Are these all the uh, the lined the lined linings? Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Is okay. this as well? I think I would. I think I would. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm between the black on white polka dot and the, the dark gray uh, paisley. I think out of those. Let's go with the black on white polka dot. Uh, the 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 okay. white on black. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this one. This one is amazing. Perfect. Where did I put those scissors? This one is amazing. Okay, it's gonna be sensational. All right, make him a bow tie. And uh, he doesn't need a handkerchief. Just make him a bow tie with a hook. Okay, great stuff. Okay, so we've done the lining. I wanna talk about buttons. And I don't wanna build you satin covered buttons. I think it's pointless, all right? 
I would much prefer to do charcoal, raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons like this. That's actually what I was going to suggest. <laughs> you can even go one step bolder and do the raw white pearl. I, I think let's keep the, uh, the raw charcoal. Okay, so we're going to do raw charcoal buttons here, okay? So we're going to go one, one, two buttons over here, okay? In the buttonhole, do you want white stitching or keep it plain black? See, I was thinking, um, I, I, I talked about this as well with my fiance. Um, I like a colored stitching. How do you, how do you feel about like a dark, dark green? I don't think there's enough longevity in it. Okay. You think, you think there should be more pop? No, I just think that you'll use his tux beyond the wedding. So you need to think carefully. Fair. Right? That's fair. New number. How do you feel about white, one white on the on the sleeves and keeping the lapel belt uh, black? Is yeah, I think okay? that's a great idea. That no, that's right. How does uh, feel about one white? Yeah, uh, I got it. The, I got it. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay. okay. On the cuff, have you seen my Tarzan cuffs? Is that the one with the different size buttons? Yeah. Would you like a large button on the end? Let's keep them uniform. Uh, uniform and over. Uh, do you do you recommend doing overlapped on tuxes? Hundred percent overlap. Okay. Let's Definitely, do you don't want the large button on the end, right? No, no, sir. Let's keep them uniform. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do for you. We'll go one, two, three, four in the raw charcoal pearl, overlapping. Okay. All right. We'll do a okay. white hole here, and a white hole Perfect. here. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll, and no white hole here. Right. But we'll make them a pin. Okay. We'll make them a small Perfect. pin. So you can put the pin in. It. Sorry, what color the charcoal mother pearl. Right, we'll make him a pin, and then if yeah. he wants to use the pin, he can. And if he doesn't want to use the pin, he doesn't have to. But it'll be a functional buttonhole, and it'll have a flower loop behind. Okay, and pick stitching everything. Perfect. Now, do you want the additional pick stitching that we do for very special clients? The pick stitching, pick stitching everywhere. Have you seen our videos with that? I actually have it. Would you like to try that? It's very Brioni esque. Can I, can I uh, after this look at, um, check out a video and yeah. then make a decision? Of course, 100%. Okay. okay. All Let's right. do that. We'll hold off for now. In the back of the jacket, I'm going to give you zero vents. It's going to be closed. Okay. Trust no me on this. Okay. Do you need a dinner button or are you okay with the two buttons in the front? Um, let's do it. I'd rather have it, not need it, than need it, not okay. have it. Let's do a dinner button. Great. You want the dinner button? He wants a dinner button. Okay. Excellent. Um, the pants <clears throat> you leave to me, they will have a satin waistband, satin galon stripes, and satin facing on the back pockets, okay? Okay. The pants, you do black mother of pearl buttons. Because not these? No, because later on then when he makes a white dinner jacket, that goes just fine with the black pants, okay? Sound good? Okay, do you have any questions for me? No, 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 this is all smooth so far. Put the lining underneath the collar. Okay, you're making him a bow tie. He has a pull-up pocket square. <coughs> okay, excellent. <coughs> so, we're doing a uh, fish mold. Yeah. The back also, you want silk and the front silk? No, or the back just is the black is plain. We're going to build you an amazing dinner shirt. It's okay. going to be so ridiculously good. You're just going to love it. <coughs> I was thinking on the dinner shirt, um, how do you, I, I don't know if I'm um, a fan of like the bibbed shirts. What do you like? A plain tuxedo shirt. You want it completely plain? You don't want pleats or a bib? I don't think so. How do you feel on that? I think it's like a school uniform then. <laughs> okay. Okay, then, um, well, the pleats is like the, the little ribs in the front of it. You want that? What well, I think the pleats is the bib. Yeah. Okay, so you can either have a bib of fabric or you can have a bib of pleats. What's your preference? Uh, then let's do a bib of fabric. Okay. I'd rather have two different fabrics than Okay, than so pleats. listen to me. We could just do the whole shirt in a cool white fabric if you really didn't want yeah. layered. Okay, let's, um, if we, if we do it plain, I'd rather do like, um, kind of, I have that that Brioni-esque white shirt. I love yeah. that fabric. Um, but yeah, I think I think you're right. I think if we do a plain shirt, we should um, go more exotic on the white fabric. Okay, so there's two options, right? 
let's map them out. First of all, we could use a white base like this, and then we could use a bib like this. And then the collar, bib, and cuffs would be in this fabric, or actually any of these here, okay? Or we could just do a classic white shirt in any of these fabrics that are patterned. Which, which route would you like to venture in? I think let's just do the pattern shirt. So one whole pattern shirt, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so I like this one here. All right. I love that. I love. Come closer. There's a cool one with squares. Okay. And there's another stripy one, and then okay. another stripy one, and then a diagonal weave. Um, I'm between the herringbone and the diagonal. Um. I I like this. I'll tell you, okay. my favorite is still this one, the first one that I pulled out. Okay. okay. This one has a a a, a nicer. I wouldn't say nicer. It just got it's just got wider stripes. I think you're a petite guy. This is best for you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, will you wear studs? Um, I was thinking about either doing studs or uh, just doing dark charcoal buttons. I will give you charcoal mother of pearl buttons, but I will okay. also give you a uh, an option to remove them and put your own studs in. Okay. 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 That's Great stuff. I don't want a placket in the front because it's a tuck shirt. I just want uh, uh, studs, stud holes. Okay. Uh, collar will be a cutback collar. Okay. The cuff, I won't do a French cuff for you. I'll do a straight cuff of my new design, which is curved. And that will take cufflinks and buttons. Is that okay with you? So the new cuff is this vampire. How does it go? The curved vampire. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, this is the third time that I've done this. It's, 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 it's a long cuff, which is curved. Instead of, if, instead of being like this, where one side is longer than the other, it's, a, it's an exaggerated cuff. So it's essentially, this is the third time I'm explaining this, it's essentially this cuff here, but it's longer. So look, if I draw out, if I copy exactly what is here, okay, what are you seeing here? You are seeing this. Correct? Okay. The cuff is longer. Okay. So the cuff is longer. And the curve is not slowly, it curves faster, like an iceberg. And the button is down here. Okay. All right. That's the new cuff. Okay. Inside the collar and underneath the cuff, should we put the tuxedo lining? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. On the surface of the collar, and on the surface of the cuff, should we do hand needle and thread pick stitching with uh, in black stitching? Uh, no, let's keep it plain. Okay. The buttonholes, should we color them in black? Um, do you like do you like the buttonholes in black or just white on the shirt? You asking me or her? Go ahead. Are you asking me or are you asking her? Um, I'm also kind of indifferent. I like it both ways. I have black buttonholes on my white shirt and I love it. So let's do the black buttonholes and black button thread stitching. Okay, okay? great. Yeah. Would you like your monogram, your initials on your cuff? Yeah, can we do them in like a white or an off-white? Let's do them in a white or a black, you choose. Let's do white. Okay, you want three initials or two? Let's do three and it'll be SRG. SRG, okay. And then I will do two initials on the gusset, SG. Okay, the gusset will be in the, in the, in the contrast fabric. The collar, cuff, and gusset will be in the lining. Oh, you're, you're doing yeah. the... Yeah, collar, cuff, gusset, and lining. Make him a bow tie in this white, and make him a handkerchief. Okay? Great stuff. So use lots of knickknacks. Okay. Fittings now. How does the last suit fit? How does the last shirt fit? The, the gray shirt or the gray suit fits perfect. Um, yeah. I love it. I can send uh, updated pictures. Um, video is better. You, uh, what's that? Video is better. Updated video is better. We can do that. I can send you an updated video of the gray suit. Um, all the shirts fit perfect. Okay, great sir. So if if the if if the video if the suit fits perfect, the jacket, the trousers, the shirt, and you're confident, then I don't need the videos. Okay. okay. I'm good. Okay. Any questions yeah, for me? I'll, I'll send you one just, um, just for, for, 
for a record, but um, I think I think they fit good. I'll, tr- I'll try. I mean, I wore that gray suit last week, but um, I'll let her look at it, and if she likes it, then we can we can continue with the same fit. Okay, amazing, amazing. Do you have any other questions for me? No, no, no. This was this was great as usual. Do you guys have any questions? You happy with all these upgrades? Yes, of course. Thank um, you so, so much. Amazing uh, stuff, right? Amazing stuff. I definitely wasn't expecting. Anything? So, uh, your hands did you know? Where? The shirt. He doesn't want no. it. He doesn't want it. I think we're golden. I think we're super, super, super golden. You've got accessories as well now. You don't have to think about fucking anything. All right? You're ready to rock and roll. Okay, my dear friend. Thank you. So- Thank, you. Thank you for everything. Thank Text you. me back your Instagram and your city. Okay? Perfect. Yeah. For sure. Thank you, brother. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye. So why am I just doing one call today? It's because I have a spate of clients coming in soon and I need to deal with them. So this is an opportunity uh, for you to also just ask me some questions as well. Lovejeet, uh, Clayton is coming. So you can prepare all this stuff. Everything is here. Everything is here? Okay, great stuff. Uh, and then I've got orders to work on as well. I, and my team and me will be busy for the whole day. So I need some extra time with them now. And, and so that's why I'm just doing this one call. We've got a great crowd here and I appreciate it. Uh, to get a consultation, you need to purchase a suit. What are my suit costs? They cost 650 US. The guy that I just spoke to, have I ever met him in person? No, never. Uh, he found me on TikTok a couple of years ago and he sent me his measurements for the measuring chart on my website. I made him one suit then I made him a second suit. And this is the third project that we're doing together in the last year or two. Um, so, so you can work with me. You don't need to be skeptical, uh, but I'm, I'm actually not here to try and sell to you or sell you my process. I'm just here to be transparent. This is the watch. Uh, I, I recommend variety in lapels. So, and I, I recommend that if you are on the back foot, like if you're a junior and if you're a guest and so forth, then you, you tread carefully and, and do a fish mouth lapel. But you know, if you're able to scream like I can all the time, then you can go ahead and rock a peak, peak lapel whenever you want to. Uh, so the tux that I am making for him costs 1700 US because of the fabric, but my tuxes start at 850 US. I prefer to do no vents on his coat because it's a two button jacket. I'm cutting it perfect for him. Uh, I want to completely gift wrap him. I want his audience to be able to see that it is completely bespoke and you will very rarely, if never get a, uh, a, a off the rack jacket, which has no vents. <clears throat> so there's a measurement form on my website, Seattle Copero. Just <clears throat> send me your measurements for the measurements on my website and then I can make you something amazing. Uh, this is what I do. You send me your measurements and then I ship it to you in the United States. Justin, send me. No issues whatsoever. So my suits start at 650 US. I have no plans to leave Hong Kong. Uh, freaky Kevin, Kelvin, I'm, Kevin, I'm glad you're enjoying this. I love dark green suits, Diana's driver. Mm. I need nine weeks. A woman's skirt will cost 300 US dollars. If you keep the questions coming rapid fire and proper, I will stay with you. Uh, if there's a gap or if it's just all garbage, I will go. I'm located in Hong Kong. So after black and navy, the correct thing to do is get gray. I'm not a huge fan of gray. I have lots of gray suits, of course. But if you've got a black and navy suit, then get a gray suit. Uh, graduation, you mean prom or graduation? You mean the ceremony? Uh, I can copy a shirt if you bring it along as a sample. Understand that I'm doing everything by hand. There's no photocopy machine. Uh, I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I speak English. My tuxedo start at 850 US dollars. I make any size person whatsoever because I'm building from scratch. If it's your, if it's your graduation ceremony, you just get a black suit. It's the most versatile for everything. And there's a lot of reuse value. Uh, Jake Madden, if you'd like to work with me and you're not in Hong Kong, please send me your measurement through the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. My suit is copper, well done cast. I ship everywhere by DHL. Uh, I sound like myself. Uh, if you want a happy birthday message, find me on Cameo. Uh, it all depends on what you have in your wardrobe already. I need to know more about you, your audience, your usage before I can recommend something to you. 
Uh, when is graduation? You may be running out of time. I'm doing good Hingle McCringleberry. You can wear a tie with a tuxedo, I virtually always do. Uh, best way to wash a suit is dry cleaning. It's a family business at 66 years old. Uh, suits differ in price by size, correct. Uh, I appreciate you user 177. Uh, shipping is a flight, but I need nine weeks to complete the process with you. Let's see what, what you got. I, I just do suits, I, I don't do shoes. So we should just get started ASAP. Uh, Jasmine, do you want to answer that? Or do you want to just let it ring, 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 ring? I mean, I, I, I can't be the only one who's here. Here's the fucking phone. I make women's dress suits, correct. My suit started at 650 US dollars. I don't speak Mandarin, I speak English. What is a $1,300 suit like? It's nice. <laughs> All the suits are nice. It doesn't matter how much you spend. Spend six fifty, you'll get a great suit. I cannot rank the fame of my clients. I have many, many, many famous clients. I only do bespoke and nothing else. My suit started at 650 US. Uh, the Hong Kong protests did impact my business because for six months, nobody came to Hong Kong. Then it was COVID, so for three years, nobody came to Hong Kong. Uh, I make ties as well. Uh, I don't work with synthetics. I only work with natural fibers. I'm six foot four tall. Uh, I'm not nervous about anything ever. I, I don't have favorites. Uh, size changes the price, of course. The bigger you are, the, the, the more it will cost. To order from me, you need to send me your measurements to the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. My forte is making your ass look like two planets. Uh, I'm wearing, I wear cufflinks every day if my sleeves are rolled down and not up. My ties start at 95 US. My suit started at 650 US. On my website, there's a measurement chart. Send me your measurements with the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. Thank you, Junior Turner. I appreciate you. Uh, I speak English. Uh, my favorite style suit is what I'm wearing, the single button narrow peak lapel. Uh, Eric is in my dressing room. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> uh, same thing, 650 sterling, 650 euros. I don't do suspenders. My son is 11 years old. Uh, my suit says 650 US, including a dark blue one. My favorite cricket team is India. My favorite cricket player currently is Virat Kohli. Peak lapel, no problem for business. Depends on how senior you are. The most expensive suit I've ever made is $10,000 US. You can learn to tie a tie and a bow tie on YouTube. Yes, my son gets free suits. Uh, I'm six foot four tall. I can make you a lavender colored suit. I'm located in Hong Kong. I love dark green suits. I have no shop in Bangkok or anywhere else in the world. I only am in Hong Kong. Uh, I like my children. I love burgundy suits. My fabrics are primarily from Italy. None are from Bangladesh. I weigh 75 kg right now. Uh, Josh Nolan, you can get your cameos done for me through the Cameo app. I, became, I got into this business because I wanted to bring my clients vision to life. I speak English. Yes, you can visit my store if you're coming to Hong Kong, but only visit if you're going to make a purchase. Uh, I am Indian. My website is samstaylor.com, S-A-M-S-T-A-I-L-O-R.com. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I do not write a script for anything in my life. Uh, I make Indian formal wear, including narrow suits, correct. Uh, user 1356, start with one suit. I work with many, many, many famous people. I'm in extremely uh, good shape. Uh, I, ha I can make any style suit, including uh, Peaky Blinders suits. I got into this business to bring my clients' vision to life. I shipped to Canada. Yes, I, I, browsers are not welcome. Uh, I, I Only people who, who buy. My favorite cologne is Oud by Diptyque. Uh, how long? It takes, a f a sh it takes 12 hours to fly to San Francisco, or 14 hours to fly to San Francisco, okay? so. I need nine weeks to complete a project with you. I speak just English. I am not from London, I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, Mahmood, I'm doing great. My suit started at 650 US. Maybe I'll have a haircut later today, I'm not sure yet. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, well, we have security, so if we ask everyone, you coming in for a purchase? If not, please fuck off. Uh, and, and we're serious about that. I've got two gigantic bodyguards, security guards, that stand outside my door. I am Indian. Uh, yes, I am awesome, and I appreciate all the love. Uh, I don't... <laughs> did I switch accents? I have no idea. My suit is beautiful. It's Piacenza fabric. It's 50% cashmere, 50% silk. Isn't that incredible? Uh... I've done shop tours before. How do my parents speak? Rarely, and then and 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 just vilely. Uh, hello, Noah Presley. I am in Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, TikTok has helped me a lot. Everything helps me. Uh, Peter Benevitz, I don't know if you're serious or not. My suits, you can dance in them, you can squat in them, you can do anything you want in them. Here's me on a stool, a wobbly stool, completely squatting in my suit, now with my hands over my head. How's that? Uh, I have a brilliant accent, you know, you know what I mean? Both men and women love my accent. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I didn't move uh, uh, here. I'm completely gift wrapped. Uh, I like double-breasted blazers. Uh, Chopper Harris, I appreciate you. Uh, my suit is the perfect fit. Uh, I don't know what my net worth is. Probably not much. That's why I'm streaming here. Uh, SNY3K, you can get a cameo from me through the cameo app. Find me there. Uh, for prom, I would go with Burgundy. I'm extremely passionate about everything. Uh, I haven't beaten any of my employees, but I wish I could. Uh, if, I beat, if I beat my employees, I'd be arrested. Um... I think there's a limit on skinny, skinniness for lapels. And, then, and sometimes lapels do look too skinny. Uh, I don't need therapy, actually. My ego is so through the roof. I feel so good all the time that I really don't need therapy. I ship worldwide, yes, pretty much. My coat is stunning, believe me. I wish I could beat my employees, I swear to God. You can conceal firearms wearing my suits. Chopper Harris, I appreciate your love. Uh, Chloe, you can feel great. Come and spend some time with me. You can refit a suit if you lose weight. No issues whatsoever. I live in China. What do you think I think about the CCP? Uh, I, I don't even know what the difference is, but I find it difficult to read tiny text. So I just don't want to struggle. Just put the glasses on and just magnifies it. Um, for, for a funeral, wear a black suit. If you want shout outs, all that shit, find me on Cameo. I've just squatted already, I'm not a dance monkey. Uh, Sleazy Oli Mexican is back in Mexico. I don't do bulletproof. Uh, I don't know what you're saying about China. All this negativity is odd. Um, my hobbies are to work out, to work, <clears throat> and spend time with my children. Hello, Turtle Beach, I've missed you. Uh, gosh, I don't really have any worse customer experiences. For yearbook, a black suit. I, for graduation ceremony, wear a black suit. For prom, wear a burgundy suit. I used to love Formula One, not anymore. You don't need to come to Hong Kong, Billy Vegas. You can send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, then I can make something amazing. I love my father. I'm not sure if he loves me. My favorite watch brand is Rolex. My favorite English Premier League football team is Liverpool. Uh, I like China. Uh, I don't like the guns in the United States. I don't like the lack of safety. I don't like the high taxation. I appreciate your love, Jack Townsend. I've been to the UK a number of times. I used to live in London uh, uh, for a year, a long time ago. My favorite food is Peking duck. Uh, best suit is, if you don't have one yet, is a black suit, regardless of your size. I have many, many famous clients. You don't have to believe me, it's all good. I'm from Hong Kong. I was born in Hong Kong. A three-piece suit would start at 860 US. A two-piece suit, 650 US. Uh, have you seen my video on when I went to watch my thoroughbred horse run in a race? You can scroll back on my Insta feed and watch it and you can see the awesome suit that I wore. I would go with a green suit for graduation, no issues. I can make you a suit, you have to pay for it. Uh, these are the cheapest glasses that I could absolutely find. Uh, I can deal with anything and everything. You know what I mean? I'm that astute. I don't need to speak Mandarin. The watch is a Voila watch. You can find them on Insta at Voila Watches, V-O-I-L-A. Uh, I need nine weeks to complete a project with you. 
My favorite fragrance is Oud by Diptyque. My suits are 650 US. My lapels are the perfect size for me. Uh, I'm six foot four tall. I've done the call for the day. I've got to get back to my desk and work. I'm just giving you guys some time. I wish to gift wrap Chris Pratt. You know who he is. Uh, tragic storm. Uh, you don't have to come to Hong Kong if you cannot make it. Uh, send me your measurements to the measuring chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. Uh, I am only reading English comments. Chloe, you have to purchase a suit before you can get gift wrap. Best color for everyday suit is black. What colors are in this year? Dark green. I'm not Chinese. Uh, I think blue, beige, or white are great for prom. I don't eat McDonald's. Not at all. Uh, I'm totally with you, uh, Jack's Barrel, but there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, I can make a suit for any size person, overweight, underweight, whatever weight. I eat salad a lot. I don't drink alcohol. Uh, I, I like calisthenics. I do a lot of pull-ups and dips and uh, handstands. Eric's suit was 1300 US. I'm located in Hong Kong. I work with women every day. Check out hashtag Sam's News, hashtag S-A-M-S-M-U-S-E on Instagram. Uh, I am the Tony Stark of suits. I agree with you. Uh, my suit started 650 US, nothing less than that. I speak English. I make suits only for human beings. Date suit, I would go with burgundy. I mean, you can wear anything with black. Uh, I usually go live every single day for one hour. There's zero influence from the UK and Hong Kong tailoring industry, and I don't have any influence from anybody. I make shit up as I go along. I think Hong Kong is brilliant now, and I never look ahead to the future. Underrated suit color, in my opinion, is green. Rian is a bit too young to get married. My favorite car company is Mercedes-Benz. I am from Hong Kong. I don't know anything about your cousin's wedding. The more context I have, uh, the, the, the more advice I can give you. I have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and I probably won't watch it. I don't have time for that stuff. I drive a Mercedes Benz. You have a black suit and a blue suit. Anything goes with black or blue, including pink. Uh, I don't know what my flight schedule is. Hey, Neil. Hello. Hi, how are you? I, um, missed my... He didn't know, Gino. Measuring, yeah. yeah. So I'm here because I'm going back today. Do you have time to measure me before I go? You came here the other day, we made a payment. I didn't know. Did you have time? The, these pins are from my clients. I don't know if I'll make time for Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of people speak English in Hong Kong. Uh, I don't count the number of suits that I actually have myself, nor do I count the number of suits that I make for clients daily. I do watch Bollywood movies very rarely. I speak English. I like the pins as well. <clears throat> Best color for court, probably dark blue. I don't do sales. I'm Indian. I've made suits with skulls eight billion times. Goodness me. I'm extremely happy in life. I'm nearly at my own utopia, Nirvana. Yes, if you came to my shop, I'd build a suit based on your preferences completely, if that's what you prefer. My favorite beetle, oh, gosh. Well, I think I like them all. Do I really like Paul? I don't know. There are days that I do and there's days that I don't. Do I really like George? There's not much to like. Do I really like Ringo? Again, there's really not much to like. Do I really like John? He's such a troublemaker, right? I don't know. That's a tough question. Wow. Uh, I showered this morning. I would never move to the United States ever. <laughs> I've lived there before already. Uh, I've already done the, the, the live call with the client for the day. I'm just hanging out with you guys for a bit. And then I've got to get started on a ton of work, both in person and a lot of work. Um, the I lived in New York City. I lived in Manhattan. I went to NYU. Favorite Bollywood movie? I'm going to give you two. Dilwale uh, Dulhani Lejange and Kabi Alvida Na Kena. The favorite person I've made a suit for? My son. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've made such a gorgeous cute suit from you guys must have seen it. It's all over my Insta feed. You guys have to check them out in it. I appreciate you uh, to be decided again. I'm not sure what you mean. Hong Kong is best for everything. <laughs> Hello, Jeff Konzone. I speak English. Uh, it's a voila watch. Uh, I dislike the cold the most. I dislike the cold. What did I like the most? Not very much. <laughs> Top five colors for a suit. I think start with black uh, and then let's move on from there. I've not seen RRR. I don't even consider it a Bollywood movie. I've spoken about it right before, right? Like, you know, it's it's a Tamil movie, right? Isn't it? It's, it's a South Indian movie. Um, I've just got another new request on, on uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, cameo. I'm just being eaten up by Cameo now. It's amazing. Uh, is it Tamil or is it South Indian so, so, so forth, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, I don't consider it a Bollywood film, right? Uh, and, and and that's pretty much it. Yes, I have a degree from NYU. Uh, I I am six foot four tall. Uh, everyday suit for office is blue. I am the number one maker of pink suits on the planet. On the planet, I don't think anyone makes more pink suits than I do. It's actually amazing being six foot four in Hong Kong. I've never worked with Shahrukh, unfortunately. Nobody gets free suits or discounts. I am South Asian, one hundred percent. My degree is in finance and economics, and I don't make shoes, and I only speak English. Justify, I appreciate your love. I appreciate you, Jack Townsend. I don't enjoy Omega watches. Is college worth it now? Absolutely not, but you still have to go. I appreciate your love, Noah William. Uh, I don't think I've watched Bahu Bali. I'm not sure. I don't like loafers. I drive a Mercedes. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is part of China. I need to see this, the, the spec on the military general's uniform. Uh, if we're doing a military general's uniform, number one, it will start at 1300 US. Number two, I don't have any of the ornaments. You need to send it to me. Uh, you know, that's not my prime line of business. Uh, if you want three suits, I suggest starting with one. Uh, Eric got tight, tight, tight. Uh, a beige suit would complement a beige dress or a brown suit. Uh, the most expensive suit that I've sold is a 10,000 US dollar suit. I don't count how much I make every year. I am extremely fit. I just worked out this morning. I love the safari jackets that I make. I think they're incredible. I live in an amazing condo. It's beautiful. I've been to Italy very long time ago. I don't remember it. The, the 10K suit was 50%, no, it was 100% by Kuna Cashman. Uh, the fabric and the brand of the fabric. I've answered the watch question so many times, it's insane. <laughs> I only wear my brand uh, uh, of suits. Yeah, my suits are just incredible. They're, they're, they're off the hook. D Mill 63, I appreciate uh, all, all your support. Thank you so much. Uh, I cannot say hi, Nicholas, to anybody. You need to, you need to engage me on Cameo uh, and pay for the Cameos. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I'm living very comfortably in life, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't work this hard. I'd be foolish working this hard and not living comfortably. Thank you, Jeff Konz, Konzon Iyer. Uh, I use the latest iPhone, the larger size. Uh, my favorite football team is Liverpool. Uh, it's it's harder to cross the road than to live in Hong Kong. A suit will start at 650 US. My favorite suit that I ever made is the one that I'm wearing right now. Hong Kong is diverse in ethnicity, but still primarily Chinese. That is an oxymoron, but it is what it is. We have all types of people here, but it's predominantly Chinese. Yeah, deep kagake, Joe Hey Simon. Uh, this is hand needle and thread pick stitching that is on my shirt collar. I have many blazers. I why am I a Liverpool fan? I grew up being a Liverpool fan. I'm gonna go to my office now, okay? And then soon I'm gonna say bye to you guys and get working. This is the reason that I only did one call.
because I already have two clients uh, in uh, my store, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna say bye to Insta first and say thank you. Uh, TikTok, I'll stay with you for a couple of minutes. All of you on Insta who are watching, make sure you follow me on Insta. Thank you and see you tomorrow. The bit of lemon, I'll go check it out.